Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have all of my favorite items for June of 2019. And um, some repeats for sure, but things I use a lot of. And I haven't been purchasing a lot of skincare or makeup or wax for that matter. You probably noticed that on my channel. So I'm really doing the best I can. I'm about to move really far. <laughs> really really far away um, and I'm trying to pan or get rid of the things I only have a little bit left of so but when it comes to makeup that's kind of hard to do but I have almost made it with some lip liners this time but what we'll do is we'll talk about what's on my lips this time um, I have a Rimmel's what do they call this a 1000 kisses stay on lip liner pencil in the color natural I have this lined and filled in my lips and then what I did is I then and I rediscovered this and this is like the thing is that the fact that I'm able to go into my stash and, and pull out some things I haven't seen haven't used in a long time the this is the daringly nude shade in the matte Maybelline uh, number 655 and it was in this packaging you know Maybelline has different colors of uh, the containers so this is I forgot about these these are probably perhaps the best matte lipsticks I have ever tried. Um, they are not drying, they stay put, probably they, they do wear off. They're more of, it's a matte, not satin. It is a matte, but not in the way that you might think. Like I know, I have not tried this, but from what I hear from about Max Ruby Woo, it's a matte, their matte formula is very pulling and tugging and dry, but it does last a really long time, more like stains. This one I wouldn't say, it still lasts longer than a regular lipstick, but this whole line, I forgot. And I have, I've been using it quite often actually in this last month and I've gone down quite a bit because I barely had used this and I've forgotten how much I love this formula. So again, just like wax, I'm finding that rediscovering things, pulling things out, not hoarding them, forgetting that I have them, right? So there's that. And of course, I cannot go without chopping the lip color with a little lip gloss. This is the NYX, an OG classic, NYX Butter Gloss in the color um, uh, Madeline. So that's what's on my lips on the top. So, but I will show you what I've also been using a lot of. And again, I'm trying to use these lip liners. I'm trying to do my best to get through them before I have to move. Not that they're a big deal, but you know, it's just like goals, man. They're small things, small things, small minds big impact in my own brain. Anyway, this is the lip liner in NYX. This is NYX and it's also natural. I think it's natural. It's all off of the label. And actually I've tried finding this again and I think that they have changed their name on this one because I've not found this particular color name. I think it's either natural or nude, but I haven't found it. But I did find another NYX that I think was comparable. It either had the same name, but totally different packaging because I did have this for quite some time. So I've been pairing that, lining my lips, filling my lips in, and then topping it off with, and again, if you guys can get Marc Jacobs, the minis are fantastic. And who's gonna go through a full on lipstick in, a normal lifetime <laughs> especially when you have a little bit of a, a collection so this is the lipstick in the color role play in his new nudes collection and obviously the nude packaging shows that it's in his nude nudes collection generally he has a black like it was, this would be black um, when it comes to the regular packaging anyway this is a fantastic color and that's all I have left and so I would fill my lips in with that other lip liner and then I would I will say it's a little bit soft so I've been babying it a little bit but then I would put that all over my lips and of course top it off with a lip gloss and this one is the Revlon sorry my eyes are good but this is small this is the Revlon super lustrous in the color number 260 rosy future so that's what I put on top so that's been the lip colors I've been pretty much consistent with for the entire month of June all right, so let's change it up a little bit. Let's do some skincare. I wanted to share with you guys this here is Olay's Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream. And I love this. You can get this, at least in Canada, it's a staple at Costco. They have a two pack. For what you pay at Costco for a two pack of, the, of this here, you pay for one 
of these at the drugstore or even Walmart for that matter, even Walmart. So Costco is the best way. And I will say that uh, Ole was one of the very first uh, of the, I guess, skincare, one of my giant OGs to really step up their game with packaging and waste because they realize that a lot of the waste that they're finding in the ocean and extra waste is due to cosmetics uh, or skincare or whatnot. So what they've decided to do, and I saw this, you can you can probably like YouTube it or Google it. So what they're gonna do is starting October 2019, something like this jar, what they're gonna do is keep, I guess maybe keep the jar when it's empty and they're gonna have pods like you would have for your coffee maker, you know, like your Keurig or T Tosmo, whatever you have. Then you put the little, plot, like the little uh, thing of lotion in it and it's in itself contained and put it in this thing and take the little wrapper off and boom. And then you keep this container and you just keep refilling it with um, a new pod. So I think that's ingenious, but I'm, that's just a bonus to what I'm gonna say. Olay is something my mom has sworn about, sworn by, sworn by all of her life and I, you know, I change in and out of creams and that, but this is really, really good. I will say Ole has sure jacked up their prices lately, not lately, gradually over time, but it's almost unreachable <laughs> in the drugstore. It's almost Sephora prices now, at least here in Canada. Um, I know if you get a good sale, you can get a few bucks off, but I've never seen anything a great deal, except for at Costco, like I said, then you can get a package of two of these for about $45 Canadian, which would probably be about $38 American for two. So I th think that's a really good deal, at least up here in Canada. I'd use this in the morning and I use it at night. And at night I use it, like I just use this. <clears throat> I use oils, I have other steps and regimes, but this is the only lotion I use on my face. But in the morning I use this and I dot my face with the lotion all over my face. I'm ready to rub it in, but before I do that, I have gone back to my summertime must-have, La Roche, uh, sorry, La Roche Posay's. Um, it is their laboratory. Oh, yeah, anyway, it's Anthelios. It's the Ultra Fluid Lotion, and it's a sunscreen and SPF 60. So it's very runny. You can hear that. So what I do is I take that lotion and I scoop a little bit. And I dot it all over my face, ready to rub it in. But before I do that, I shake this up open this cap up and on my finger, and of course I just, whatever, it's like fluff on the top. Anyway, I would just put a little bit on my finger, dab it, dab it right next to all the lotion dabs I already put, and then I mix the two together. And you guys, sunscreen for your face is so, so important. And I love this, I've had this before. It's probably like the third or fourth bottle I've bought, gone through over time. I generally like to use this in the summertime. Um, it doesn't dry my face out. I can't go, I can't say for flashback photography, I'm not that kind of person. I don't need, to, I don't care about flashback photography on a daily basis. Uh, with sunscreen, some people have issues with that. I don't care. But this, to me, there's skin cancer in my family. Uh, we do definitely try to do the best we can to protect our skin. So especially with my fair skin, my fair complexion and now red hair, but this is my natural color. If you're new, my natural hair color is like a really dark blonde, it's like sandy blonde. Anyway, moving on. Uh, let's go on to a fragrance. Now, this is, I bought like days, last few days of June. I wanna say like there was five or six days left in June and so it's almost not fair to put it in my favorites because I haven't loved it for a whole month. But I'm telling you, you'll see how much I've used of this. And you guys are awesome because on Instagram I posted what I pick it, pick bleh, what I purchased. So what I went into Sephora for and what I've been going online is to get the La Vanilla Vanilla Coconuts roll or yeah, it was a roll on fragrance. Divine. I love that one. I love that one in the summer. It's my summer staple, but I'm out of it. So I went to go purchase. I've been trying to look online and Sephora online never restocked it and I've been going in the store and I don't see it. You used to be able to get the vanilla roll ball roll like roller ball and then all separately you could get the coconut vanilla and I haven't seen it. So anyway, I was in the Sephora and I actually just finally asked somebody, I'm like, do you guys have anything comparable? Cause I noticed like, it's obviously not getting restocked, the La Vanilla version. They're like, actually, well, we have something really, really, that's even more popular than that. I'm like, really? Well, this is the, oh, excuse me for my poor language. Uh, Leo du Voyage. 
And this is the Sud Pacific uh, Comptoir Perry Vanilla Cocoa. So this is the closest thing to vanilla co coconut that I have. Now look at this. I've had it for days. I have used this and I love this and I get compliments on it. And I, and I almost, I, because I was sniffing all of them, I almost bought this. Is, and another bonus is that it's a spray and not a roller ball. Cause I find the roller balls get a little annoying after a while. And plus like when you put it on your skin after a while, it stirred. Yeah. It just looks funny in the oil and the perfume oil. Anyway, happy to see this is in a spray. This was $30 Canadian, which is a lot, but I, I didn't want to, buy a big version of it for the first time. Yes, it smells good on coal, but how long will it last? No, I really love this. And you guys are right. And what's funny, the reason why I said that is because so many of you guys on my Instagram, when you saw that I got this, you're like, oh, the apricot vanilla one is like my favorite. Well, funny enough, that was the first one I sprayed on me, but I'm like, no, I came here for coconut vanilla. But let me tell you, the apricot vanilla is definitely on my list and full size, you guys at least in this one, because I know this one's good, but I will be taking this with me on my road trip. That's also part of the reason I went to Sephora and I got this and I got a couple other things, which I'm still testing out, but I haven't been using as much because I'm trying to save it for the road trip ahead. Uh, but this, oh, so good. I really enjoy that. So lovely. All right, so Bath and Body Works. Now, this is an oldie but goodie. SAS just ended. So if you picked up more of these type, products or if you watch this and you're like ooh, next SAS is uh, Boxing Day so December 26th and there's generally almost a month long take a look at this especially if you love real chunky scrubs I've talked about this before about Bath and Body Works but I was using French Lavender and Honey the body scrub from sorry from the body shop the body shop Bath and Body Works so this is the scrub it's chunky like oh there's water I just had a shower <laughs> but it's chunky, chunky, chunky sugar scrub. It's so good. And I love this stuff so much. I use this for my on my feet. That's one of the last things I do before I get out of the shower is I really scrub my feet on the bottom, just get rid of any of the dead skin, go between my toes, you know, all that fun stuff. I know some people get icked out by that, but whatever. This is what I do. I love scrubs strictly for my feet. Uh, and these chunky sugar scrubs, over the salt scrubs are much better. I, I just feel like I get a like, deeper clean with it. So I love that. And there's a little wet on my lap. It's a little wet right now. Anyway, and sorry if you're distracted by this. So am I. We, uh, we combined our places together in one because the movers are coming. They only come to one place to pick up all of your stuff. So when we go to move. So anyway, the movers are gonna be coming here because it just, uh, anyway, long story short, they're coming here. And so we're just from trying to squeeze all as much stuff as possible. So there's like extra bedding, <laughs> just it will work on it. We have a way bigger space when we get to Halifax. Okay. On to a couple body care. I have the, my last of the body shops, early harvest raspberry shower gel and their big, their cream. What do they call themselves? 24 hour hydration cold pressed raspberry seed oil. This is fantastic, you guys. I love this. I didn't repurchase this at the SAS after Christmas this past year because I was trying to be good. Again, I'm like really, really trying to slow my roll on just buying for the sake of buying or stocking up, but um, I love this and it's so good. Really juicy raspberry. If you love raspberry, you would love this. So that's really good. And then, okay, well, I would say though, is I did go with the body shop in and around Boxing Day because I was like, okay, I don't need any more of that because like, I think I'm good. But this, I was hoping they would bring back. And it's from a couple of Christmases ago. Uh, they had it for a couple of years in a row. And then, you know, you think maybe SAS will bring it back. No, they did not. So I did look, but they didn't have it. And that's the, the vanilla chai scent in the softening body butter. So that is this one here and it's so good. And I have been just using up my legs. Like I use the early harvest raspberry for my upper body, like cause I, the shower gel and that. And I've been using this on my legs and it's very, very, very nice. I really, really enjoy that. And then last but not least, we're gonna do some make more makeup, but we're gonna do more like facial things. So I've been trying to save this for my trip but it's really good and I'm really enjoying it. And I don't know why I'm enjoying it so much because it just, it's a spray, but I've been doing, using this the way it's intended. And it's a, the 
Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. It says prep, set, and refresh. Now, I usually use these types of things as a refresher or just set because I use powder on my face, so like a, like a setting spray. But I did decide to use it as a prep spray. But So before I go into, like, I use powder, but before I go into all the other stuff, I was putting this on and it's really nice. And they have many different scents. I know that MAC came out with a few different scents, but for the drugstore, you guys, really inexpensive. This coconut one, if you like coconut, you'll love it. I just think it's great for summer too. But to set my face at the end, so that's what I do to prep before I do everything. But at the very end, the last thing I do is I use Max Fix Plus, the original. Um, I did buy this a few months ago. Again, I'm trying to get through this before I go because it's one last thing I have to bring. Anyway, I really, really enjoy this very much. And I know Mac at Christmas time generally has like a three pack with a minis, with a lavender, a coconut, and a rose scent and i did go i did buy one of those last christmas and i did go through them all so anyway but my favorite scent so far that i've tried from mac is the coconut i'm kind of partial but they have so many new scents now from mac um some that are exclusive to ulta i see in the states but that's okay considering mac is a canadian company but whatever you know being so inclusive but anyway we got lots of stuff too so it's all good anyway moving on uh the blush i'm wearing today softer light ahead so it's a little more soft i'm wearing milani's tea rose powder blush i really enjoy it it's a nice matte blush and so with the eye look that i'm wearing today i thought this would be very good but i'm wearing this to work a lot actually my eye look that i'm wearing is a favorite which you'll see my everything is a favorite and i've been wearing it a lot to work so i love this this is a lot of blush and i'm so happy that milani is sold in canada now uh before we go into my eye look if you follow me on Instagram, on Insta stories or whatever, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I have been trying high and low to try to find the NYX, uh, all, was it HD, what was it they call it? High definition blush in the color taupe. Taupe is what I use for chiseling, trying to chisel out my round face, but my cheekbone area. And I had this and I would buy it quite often and it was the perfect shade for me. And uh, then I just couldn't find it anymore. I couldn't find it anywhere. I tried high, low, every time I would go into Walmart, every time I would go into Rexall, uh, Shoppers Drug Mart, to uh, London Drugs, every drugstore that I knew carried the NYX in my area, I would go to just to see. And never did I find it. But my friend who does my nails, she was telling me she was looking for it too because she uses it for the exact same thing. Different coloring than me too, so it, that's really cool too that this can go with different colors. Uh, coloring anyway um, she said go on the NYX Canada website and by the way when you're on there it's like five dollars and sixty cents each the cheapest I've ever gotten this at any drugstore was probably like thirteen dollars a piece so I went on to the NYX website the NYX Canada and went on the website and I bought five because they were five dollars and sixty cents in fact the shipping was ridiculous we Canadians pay out of our butts for shipping even with our within our own country um, we don't get good deals like you guys in the States have amazing deals um, I know just because I, I also purchase things from the States send them to friends blah 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 We have really piss poor Shipping rates, so it cost me almost $15 to, sh to send the five blushes that I got for 560 each so anyway a little bit cheesy but all right, so um, MAC Paint Pot in the color Bear Study is what I set my eyes, like what I put down on the base of my eyes. It's a really nice champagne, light champagne color. And I use that as a base, and I've been wearing that in combination with L'Oreal's Paradise Enchanted Eyeshadow Palette. I bought this last summer and I'm so glad I did. These colors are right up my alley. I absolutely adore this. I'm wearing this one all over the, uh, like under my eye, my brow line. And then I mix this color and this color together to get my crease shade. And then I have this color right here, right down the middle of my eye and also in the inner corner and to about here. And then just to deepen up the, the or no, and then I go into this one here just to kind of give it more of a definition between high and low. And then the right here, this dark brown one goes right out into the V. I love this. 
and I've seen it on sale quite often. I really enjoy this. Um, I would say that I, the colors I have not tried as much. I've tried every single one. The one that I've used the least is this one right here. And I think it's just because the pigment, you lose a lot of, when you put that on your, your eye, you lose a lot of sheen. Like it just kind of goes on brown. So I think that's why I haven't used that as much. But every other color I have used, I really enjoy. And you can get a lot of really great looks. Um, I think this one, this palette, ooh, that's gonna be toss up on my trip. Modern Renaissance, this one, and Natasha Denona Sunset Palette Mini, I think will probably come with me, which is like five, well, that's only three palettes. But it's probably three palettes too many that I need. But anyway, because you know, you do what you do. As always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Things will be changing a little bit. Um, as always, as well, I will have Nelson's Instagram down below if you want to follow him as well, because when we go traveling, he loves to take photos as well. So do I. So please feel free to follow him. Uh, we're leaving shortly. I am leaving the west coast of Canada in like three weeks. It's unreal, and I'm so excited. And now Nelson kind of turned to me the other day, and he says, are you nervous? And I said, Nope. I, I, there's no nerves at all. I'm actually, I'm like, I wish I could do one of these and we're on the road doing our, the beginning of our road trip. I really do. And I'm really looking forward to Halifax, Nova Scotia, really looking forward to everything. Um, new job. I'm, I'm still going to wait for one, but new job come some, hopefully somewhere down the line. Um, and just experiences being with Nelson. Uh, we're not going to talk about it too much right now, but we already know we're like, when the wedding is, where the wedding will be, and all that stuff. And so we'll share that with that a little bit more, but again, some more people on this side of the camera need to know about it. And I'm we're going to my parents, my hometown, to visit my family. And my parents, I'm gonna say without, cause they know I don't want, I don't want shower, get, I don't want a shower, I don't want a bachelorette, that's not me. If I was 20, maybe that would be me. I am not about that. I don't like attention, I know, weird. I don't like attention being paid to me isn't, it's just not my style, but um, I think it's kind of like an engagement party, but it's just an excuse, which is great, to get everyone, all of our family and friends together, as many who can come, and celebrate, and just have some fun, have some good food, swim in the pool, um, yeah, and then we'll be heading out to, to the East Coast, so I'm really excited. <laughs> all right, you guys, as always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.